Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this Vectors of Motion problem, they want us to find the distance that we would travel along the face of the Great Pyramid of Giza if we were to climb it. So they tell us that the pyramid is 139 meters tall. So I'm going to draw it right here. So from the bottom all the way up to the top is 139 meters. Now we just created two right triangles. And we want to find this right here. And they tell us that the angle from the bottom of the pyramid right here is 51.8 degrees. And so to find H, now we can just use some trigonometry. And so you will use SOHCAHTOA. Toa, and we have the opposite of the angle and we want the hypotenuse, so we'll be using sine. So so stands for sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. We need to isolate the hypotenuse in this case. So we need to multiply both sides by h. h, so now we have opposite is equal to h sine of theta. But now we need to divide both sides by sine theta. And sine of theta. So now our final equation is the hypotenuse in this case will be equal to the opposite of the angle divided by the sine of the angle. So we can plug in our values. So h will be equal to 139 meters divided by sine of the angle, which is 51.8 degrees. So 139 divided by sine of 51.8 degrees gives us 176.8. So we'll round that to 177 meters is the distance that you would climb if you would climb up the face of the pyramid, which they make explicit is forbidden.